What up, YouTube? Jimmy Pink. Hot mess. I wasn't expecting to do a video today, okay? But I just have utter disappointment in my Sunday evening TV. Utter disappointment. What I'm going to discuss today? Dallas Cowboys Jets game. Series finales of Entourage. Season finale of True Blood. Jimmy Pink, hot mess. Wanna hear it? Here it go. You wanna be like me? You wanna be like me? You, you wanna you wanna be like me? You wanna be like me? Okay, so the first thing is, is I am a diehard Dallas Cowboys fan, and I was completely excited the football season started today. But here's my dilemma. So I got my squad playing the opening Sunday night game at 820. I got True Blood season finale tonight, and I have this series finale of Entourage. What's a girl to do? Okay, I realize I have a DVR, I realize I have On Demand, and I realize these shows get reran. But, you don't, you don't understand. Like, if not anything else, I knew I was going to watch Entourage. So, okay, so I watched the Dallas Cowboys game, and I'm like, we're we doing good, we all right. I'm going to go ahead and watch True Blood, because I'm really interested. So, the finale of True Blood was good, okay, but... Here's my disappointment. A, Lafayette kills Jesus. Now listen, I understand that he was possessed and all that wonderfulness and it was Marnie and what the hell ever. I'm tired of, it's two black characters on the show. Why they can't never have love? I was mad already at the beginning of the season because both the motherfuckers was gay. Now, don't neither one of them got their people no more? But Suki got... Two goddamn vampires. And then, wait a minute. Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. And then, Tara gets killed? Saving sucky ass? I'd let that bitch get shot. You know why? First of all, Tara, you didn't have none of these issues if it wasn't for Sookie. B, if something would have happened to Sookie, Bill, or what's the motherfucker's name that I love? I can't even think of his name right now. Eric. Bill or Eric would have been there so quick to give her blood, she'd have lived anyway. Fuck her. Really? What's so goddamn great about Sookie? All right, so we'll, we let that go. Anywho, but I'm mad because Lafayette kills Jesus. It looked like Tara is going to be dead. And Renee comes back to warn Arlene. There's something bad is happening because in all these ghosts and shit, you know what, True Blood, for real, dog, I promise you, I don't care how much I love the show. I think I just spit and I don't even care. I promise you, if Tara is dead, I'm not watching this shit no more. I promise you. All the good shows got to kill off the black people who don't have black characters and I'm fucking tired of it. Y'all If Tara is dead, for real, if Bill or Sookie, or not Bill or Sookie, if Bill or Eric don't fly to the motherfucking rescue... And fucking get a funnel out and pour it down Tara's throat for her to come back to her life. I'm not watching that shit. I promise you, I give y'all one episode, one episode only. If Tara is dead, fuck y'all. Okay, well, I would tell you, let me put it that. If Tara's not on the show no more, because with Lafayette being a medium, Tara might be around as a ghost. Whatever, what have you. I'll accept that. But if she off the show, for real, I'm done with y'all asses. Okay. My next disappointment is Entourage. Okay, so I go back to the Dallas Cowboy Jets game. We we still up. It's a good game, you know what I'm saying? My husband, Dez Bryant, doing his thing to the thing to thing. I like it. Tony Romo actually playing a decent damn game. A little bit salty because my heart got in and I refused to draft him in my fantasy league. Outright refused to pick up Tony Romo. Like, fuck that. I'm not picking him up because I hate him. But... I didn't, and he doing his damn thing. I'm getting smashed in my fantasy league because Tony Romo is just putting up yardage like 
and let it drop. Okay, I'm fine with that. So I'm like, all right, we're in good hands. It's the early third quarter. I'm going to go on and watch Entourage because I don't want nobody for it to pop up on my Twitter or my Facebook on my phone telling me what happened. So I'm like, I'm going to watch it. So I watched the series finale of Entourage. Okay, so we found out last time that What's her face? Sloan is pregnant by Eric. First of all, am I the only person that didn't even know that Vince went on a date with the blonde journalist bitch? I didn't even know they went on a date. And I watched this show every episode since it came out. I didn't even know they went on a date. I knew they broke her down, but I didn't know they went on a date. The fucking finale is, is Vince gets married to some bitch he went on a date with one goddamn time. That's the finale? Really? All right, quick to be with his family that part I liked that part I liked cause Ari Gold been my boy since the first season that's my dude him and his wife get back together it looked like Sloan and Eric is gonna get back together they kinda left it up in the air Turtle is a millionaire we found that out last week Johnny gets his TV movie to me that wasn't even no real success story we can't find out like Johnny Bananas like he got nominated for an Emmy nothing the Johnny story, Johnny drama storyline fell completely flat. We don't know really what the fuck happened to him. We know Turtle is a millionaire. Johnny is working. Oh, that's supposed to be, that. that's good because he working? He been doing little bit parts and doing something to get by the whole goddamn show. So the fuck what? He got a TV movie. So the fuck what? Miriam McDonald from Degrassi got a TV movie. You still ain't seen this bitch on shit else since Degrassi. So the fuck what? But Vince gets married. That's the finale of Entourage? Really? Really? The series finale, not the season finale. Not like it's a new character coming back next year and he gonna be married. That's the finale? Entourage, you could have came better than that. If you needed an hour to close out to wrap up some more things, I'm sure HBO would have gave it to you. And the, and, and the show was only eight seasons. And the final season was only eight seasons. Fuck a duck, man. That shit was whack. Final disappointment of the night. Mind you, earlier, you heard me say Tony Romo was having a good game. Oh, so I turned Entourage off. Soon as I clicked to the game, I see a motherfucking block punt return running back for a touchdown. Game tied. I just took a half an hour off watching this game to watch this bullshit they did on Entourage to see the game get tied up. And then we get our chance back. This is when the Tony Romo I know shows the fuck up. It's a minute left in the game. 59 seconds. All you got to do is get in field goal range and we on the 40-yard line and this motherfucker throws a 20-yard pass that gets intercepted. That's the Tony Romo I know. That's why I ain't pick his ass up in fantasy. Any real Dallas Cowboys fan can't stand this motherfucker, and that's why. Because he is a fucking choke artist. And then, truth be it told, I don't put nothing on TV, even professional sports, even the Olympics, being put past it being some sort of staging to make good television. So they made it look good, but truth be it told, I knew the Jets was going to win anyway. It's not. It's the 10-year anniversary of 9-11. They was playing in New York, and it's the first day of the NFL season, and that's the first primetime game, or that's the Sunday night game for the opening season. I knew the Jets was going to win. They just made it look good. Anywho, I, I don't I don't put anything being past being staged. No disrespect to the Jets. I think they played an awesome game. I love Plexico Burris. I'm glad y'all picked them up. And on my fantasy league, I got y'all defense, and trust me, that punt return, that punt block, for a touchdown, hooked me right on the fuck up. But what I'm saying is, is I knew going in that we was going to lose because we was playing the New York Jets on the 10-year anniversary of 9-11 in New York. Duh. Anyway, I wasn't going to do a video. That was just something quick. Um, It may be another one this week. If not, I'll be doing an Emmy recap, like a red carpet kind of fashion thing anyway whatever oh i just wanted to do this real quick if you could see them i don't know if you can but um 
I did the water wrapping, the water marbling, and I'll put the link to the video where I learned how to do it. I did my little, this is the first time I did it, and I wasn't quite knowing what to expect, so they messed up a little bit. But all in all, I think they, I think they came out pretty nice, all in all, if you can see that. Um, you know, I'm just trying to get my swagger back. Truth. Anyway, Jimmy Pink, hot mess. Thanks for stopping by. Deuces.